Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey everyone. Woo! Lego. Now every few years or so, we have a lot of workout fads. You know, some people like Orange Theory Fitness, some people like CrossFit, but I don't think we've ever seen a workout trend quite like this. Check it out. Is that a sippy cup? What is that? That's a full wine bottle? <laughs> uh, that, that, that's a full wine bottle, yes. She has like the topper that they use at a bar <laughs> on the top of that <laughs> bottle. Oh, um, I mean, now the cool thing about it is Jules is actually a personal trainer. I, I, I feel like the <laughs> wine bottle is messing up the form, though. She's just like... 100% missing up her form. Her shoulders are in the wrong place. Like her neck's going forward. How's she even breathing? <laughs> she has an actual wine glass. <laughs> I'm, she, she bad and bougie. What you know about that? <laughs> Teamwork makes a dream work. <laughs> I like how she's holding two glasses of wine. Oh, I, oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I mean, my whole thing is just like, I would just be concerned that if you're sipping wine while you're working out, that you might choke on it. Like it might go down the wrong hole. Yeah. And, and the next thing <laughs> you're going to the hospital because you try to have this really cool, nice workout plan idea. And I don't know about her, but after like one glass of wine, I'm just like tipsy. So like, and she's upside down. <laughs> like all the blood is rushing to her head. Oh, uh, okay. She okay. Like, <laughs> she got swag. Ah. Uh, Wow. Now, see, I feel like this actually does make the workout more challenging. But as you can see, the wine just kind of starts spilling out. So you're just <laughs> messing up the whole workout area for all the other gym patrons, okay? It's going to be sticky on the floor. Yeah, they can't be sanitary. Someone might slip on it. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. Now, we all know New York is not exactly known for its cleanliness. And to combat that issue, the city of New York is offering a $500 reward for whoever comes up with the dirtiest train station picture. <laughs> Wow. This is what it's come down to. It's the trash piles and unknown what streaks seem to disturb most riders. Yo, you know it's getting real when they got biohazard bags. <laughs> he has a whole outfit. All right, yo, check out my man right here. That is gross. Imagine you're on your way to school or work and you get off the train and somebody's like, oh, look. It's those unpleasant experiences. <gasps> oh, my God. It looks like a hoarder's house. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, I, my God. I feel like someone just dumped trash. Like, hey, it's trash day. It's trash day. It's now the centerpiece of TWU Local 100's train trash campaign in a series of tweets and a full newspaper page ad offering $500 for the dirtiest train car photo. That, so that's how bad the trash is. <laughs> people have to be either people have to be more tidy or we have to devote more effort to cleaning up after them. Tidy. <laughs> I love this lady. I love Joan. Oh, Joan said, Diamond. Has to be tidy. Just a little tidy. <laughs> I see Joan. So cute. Jo Aww. Joan probably knows what it was like back in the day when they were actually so clean, sweet. huh? Were they clean back in the day? I, probably cleaner than this. Uh. The MTA agrees. Litter stuff. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't. Not. <laughs> that is false. <laughs> That is not true. Oh, no. Litter does not stop here. <laughs> All 591 MTA subway trains in service every day. More than 5,000 train cars are routinely cleaned multiple times throughout the day. I mean, I, I just love how they're saying that they're routinely cleaned multiple times a day. No, they're not. Lies. No, that, 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 that's not Lies. possible. Like all that trash, that, that's not possible to be routinely cleaned multiple times a day. Yeah, I you want, you missing I mean, a whole lot of spots, <laughs> okay? You're like, oh, you missed a spot. No, you missed a lot of spots. Half the time, you get on the subway, you can still smell the urine and the feces on the chairs. It's like they don't clean them. Oh no, <laughs> that's why I don't sit down on the train. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, it's like, you can still smell the urine and the feces on the train. It's like urine and feces? Yeah. On the okay, train? I'm sorry. LA smells just like that too. Really? One time, yes, one time me and my friend got on the train and it smelled like 
urine, like the strongest, most potent urine you've ever smelled in your life. <laughs> we got it. We're like, why is the train so empty? <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, oh, we had to hold our breath until the next stop. <laughs> it was so bad. Why don't they make a contest to like clean the train? Why are they making oh, a, a contest? To, see, that's a great point. What like, is that? Like, just like for people, like awareness, dirty metro awareness? <laughs> what? How about you, you just clean it and we'll give you $500? Yeah. Right? So uh, good luck with that, New York. So I know we all get excited around September when Apple comes out, their newest iPhone and all the features. But now here comes a company that I think is taking it a little too far. This company thought it'd be a good idea to have an iPhone cover that mimics skin. This phone case, it's made from artificial skin in response to touch, including caressing. Ew, stop caressing it. <laughs> That's making me so uncomfortable. That's why? nasty. <laughs> That's, yeah, no, for, why, why, why? <laughs> who, who said, you know what, I need, a, I need a phone cover that feels like someone's skin. Because I don't get enough skin to skin contact. <laughs> why? Researchers say it can also be tickled and pinched. The idea is to give the user some lifelike sensations. Sensations? <laughs> what, what you need lifelike sensations for? Are you that lonely? Do you not have friends? And another episode of Stunts Gone Wrong. Investigators say Mason Barth tried to parachute off a 300-foot communications tower in Menominee yesterday, but he got tangled up in a wire. WCCO's Aaron Hazanza just spoke to the 20-year-old college student about needing to be rescued from his own stunt. It ended bad. It yeah. ended bad. <laughs> yeah, it ended bad, homie. Now you on local news. He's probably still gonna try it again. He's probably gonna keep base jumping, but brother, he's gonna try that again. Maybe, maybe this ain't. Maybe not cut out for this. Well, they make airplanes for skydiving. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> I love this guy. But it's I way more fun when you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Just remember, it's not about you. It's not about your thrill. It's not a what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not about you. It's not about your own oh, thrill. Oh, I said a boat shoe. <laughs> he did. That I was is. like, that's what's a boat talk. shoe? That's, what, that's how he thought he No, but talk. like a boat shoe. Yes, that's how the accent goes. <laughs> so, uh, Base jumpers beware. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. For all you SpongeBob SquarePants lovers out there, we just found something to brighten your day. Yo, saw a thick starfish at the aquarium today. <laughs> Yo, it's looking straight. I didn't know Patrick was a real person from SpongeBob, yes. but dang, in the flesh. Uh, that booty though. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. That rocking everywhere. <laughs> that booty's super peachy. Look at that. <laughs> I li <laughs> That starfish got cakes. It kind of looks like a turkey. Like, yeah. before you cook it. Yeah, yeah, Doesn't it? yeah. You know? It like, does look like a turkey. Yeah. Man, if you keep staring at this starfish, it, it like, you see so all things. kinds of things. It kind of looks like a chicken with large breasts. It kind of looks... Like, like a mama chicken. Like, yo, get out of here. Quit <laughs> messing with me. Trying to flex on you. It's like... Urgh. What is that? Is that a crab next to it? Yo, that crab was trying to hit. That crab was like, ooh, that looking juicy. Look yeah, at it. Yeah. Let me see what's good over here. Yeah. Uh, Called Thick Star. What's good? Sounds like a stripper name. Welcome to the ocean, Thick Star. <laughs> Let me whisper in here. Tell you something that you might like to hear. I'm going to beat that starfish up. Like, pew, 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 pew. Beat the fishy up. Beat the fishy up. Beat the fishy up. Beat the fishy up. Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Till next time, woo, Lego.